Good morning, Kaufman. Today is November 30th, 2017. My name's Nick. And I'm Kylie, and you're watching Kaufman Live. So, Nick. Yes. You look slimy today. What? Slimy today. What does that mean? Slimy? I don't know. You're going to have to just watch this word of the day. All right. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? I think he can hear you, Ray. Don't move. It won't hurt you. Mucilage. Noun. A gelatinous substance or viscid solution. There will be a meeting for all students interested in participating in indoor and or outdoor track and field on today. On today. After school in the lecture hall. I wrote the script. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Kaufman's production of Does My Head Look Big in This will be performed today and tomorrow night at 7 o'clock and Saturday at 3 and 7 o'clock. Be sure to come and see this bold and exciting show. The weather may be nice now, but the cold will be back soon. If you're missing a coat or sweatshirt, check the lost and found coat tree. It's overflowing with winter coats. Communications Club will be meeting today in room A107 after school. With, another, with news of another missile test in North Korea, CNN 10 takes a look at what it's like inside this country. I've been to North Korea 11 times over the last few years, and Every time you come here, you hear that tensions between the U.S. and North Korea are high, but I have to say that this is the most tense that I have seen it uh, during any time that I've visited the country. Whenever I come here, I always get a sense that there are two very different worlds. There's the world inside North Korea and the world outside. Inside, everything in this society revolves around the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and before him, his father and grandfather. This is a society that is built up around its leadership. They hold their leaders up to the highest possible esteem. And that's very much in contrast with the view from the outside world uh, that North Korea is erratic, unpredictable, uh, and moving on a dangerous path as they continue to nuclearize. In some ways, Pyongyang resembles many other cities. It has an increasingly modern skyline. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has made it one of his initiatives to build more skyscrapers and public amenities in the city. In other ways, though, it's radically different. You hear music playing on loudspeakers throughout the city all day, in the morning to wake people up, in the evening to put them to bed at night. There is patriotic music. People are marching. They're practicing for these huge mass celebrations that they often uh, do for national holidays or to celebrate the achievements of their leader. And of course, North Korea is one of the only places in the world where no matter who you ask, at least publicly, you will never hear political dissent. Everybody will say that they are 100% behind their supreme leader. But given that Kim Jong-un has absolute power in this country, what else would they say? The Kaufman blood drive raised close to 40 pints of blood, potentially saving 120 lives. Thank you to everyone that helped and donated. Physics Club will not meet next Monday, but will meet next, next Monday, December 11th, after school in room A208 to watch a video from History's Channel's Universe series. The Internet Interact Club is selling dog biscuits at lunch today and tomorrow for $1. All students and teachers are encouraged to buy these dog-friendly treats in support of the Interact Club and Canine Companions for Independence, an organization trains and matches service dogs for veterans and individuals with disabilities. Now over to Lucas with sports. Last night, the Lady Rocks basketball team defeated Owen Tangy with the final score of 78-34. The team was led by J.C. Sheldon with, a, with 16 points, and she also scored her 1,000th career point in the game. Great job, girls. Tonight, the hockey team takes on Olentangy Orange at the Chiller. Come out and support the boys at 8.30. That's all for sports. Now back to the desk. That's all we have, Kaufman. Thanks for watching.